our enemies will try to make you forget who you are. Die beiden sind beste Freunde. Genauso wie du und Rudolf in diesem Alter waren. Guten Tag, Kaiserin. Ein perfekter schwarzer deutscher Prinz. Würde das dir gefallen? Ja, yes, sir. I serve at the pleasure of the Kaiser. Know that everything I did, I did so that our people would be free. What's the matter, Rudolf? The Kaiser is like family. Or is this brothers to go against him? Wilhelm is not your family. Your skin will always be the color of the rich Kimurian soil. And they will always walk over it as if they own it. Your family would rule under German protection. So why did you turn against us? Your father's new ideas of independence are cancer. I fear have infected you too. Aber mit der Hinrichtung eines Jungen startest du einen Krieg. Wir sind schon im Krieg. They are inside the palace. Kein Krieg. Lass mich sofort frei. What you've just watched is part of our award-winning short film about Rudolf Duella Mangabel, a heroic king, resistance leader, and martyr in the liberation of Cameroon, a German colony in Africa. It's a powerful chapter of lost history that deserves to be reclaimed and turned into a multi-season TV series so we can tell the whole story to a new generation. The most compelling stories are true ones. You can help us tell this true story of a real-life African hero by expressing your interest at angel.com slash germanking. The German King is the story about the brave people who stood up against oppression and rebelled against the German occupation. It's very much a Moses story. Rudolf Duella Mangabel is an African born in Cameroon, and like Moses, he is raised as a royal in foreign courts, in his case, Germany. When he returns to Cameroon, he sees how his people are being subjugated, oppressed, and enslaved, and he rebels. He sacrifices his kingly comforts and riches for the good of his people. If you believe what Martin Luther King Jr. said, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere, then understanding this story of injustice and how it was overcome is important. And we see that this issue is still an issue today. We've seen films of heroic overcoming of injustice before, but the German King offers a previously unseen view of African valor and reclaims a lost history for modern audiences. By immortalizing these stories in film, we preserve and keep them fresh in the minds of this and future generations. Seeing Africans as royals with their culture and heritage celebrated positively instead of stereotypically, young boys and girls of color will see people who look like they do. They'll see themselves represented in robust, meaningful, dignified ways. You'll also love seeing traditional costumes, language, landscapes, architecture, the majesty and splendor of Africa during that time. And you'll also see, of course, the extravagance of the European royals and their palaces and culture. In this series, you'll see humanity in its glorious goodness as you see the explorers and missionaries who spread the gospel and seek to end subjugation. But you'll also see those who wanted to do the exact opposite. You'll see what happens when greed and gluttony become a priority and the horrific consequences when we cease to see each other as human beings. We need your help to teach future generations what heroism looks like. Go to angel.com slash German King to show your support for this project now. There is an old African proverb that says, the tale of the hunt will always glorify the hunter until the lion speaks. This project finally gives a voice to the lion. And many of our cast and crew are native Africans or descendants of Africans. Ade Tukumbo McCormick currently voices the role of Isaac in the hit Netflix animated series, Castlevania. Other acting credits, which are a ton, include blockbusters such as Oscar-nominated Blood Diamond, Battle Los Angeles, Where We Met, and Captain America Winter Soldier. The German King series writer, Glenton Richards, is a Writers Guild Award-nominated writer, having written on the hugely successful series, The Expanse, as well as having worked on shows like Fargo and American Crime. And we have some amazing other film professionals like Emmy Award winning editor Stephanie Filo, multiple Grammy Award winner Mark Batson as a composer. We are so thrilled to be working with Angel Studios for distribution. Angel Studios series, The Chosen, the world's biggest TV series on the life of Jesus Christ, has generated hundreds of millions of views and over a hundred million dollars. I feel like I can identify with Rudolf Duala Mangabel. We are both West African. We both grew up under colonial influence. I was born in Sierra Leone and I was raised in Kenya. And I attended a prestigious private English school and everything I learned was about how amazing colonialism was and learned nothing about the rich history and culture of Africa prior to European arrival. So very much like Rudolf, I was indoctrinated into a foreign culture with very little knowledge of my own. Think about it. If asked to name a famous African, most Americans would say Black Panther. 
which is a fictional superhero. <laughs> Some may say Nelson Mandela, but there are so many more real life superheroes from Africa, and this series is gonna share several other stories with you. I grew up in Africa, and even I never knew African kings like Rudolf Duala Mangabel or Queen Yaasin Tewa even existed. I would watch movies like Braveheart and Saving Private Ryan and Lincoln, and I would think, I wish we had more films that celebrated our great African heroes. So that inspired me to make the short film, The German King, but it really deserves to be turned into a multi-season TV series to tell the whole story. We want the next generation to get to see these real life heroes who lived in Africa. This is a series we hope will empower communities around the world to celebrate and honor their African heritage. You can join us and express your interest in helping us tell this story of courage, sacrifice, faith, empathy, and love by visiting angel.com slash German King Hello everybody and welcome to the German King livestream. My name is Ari Tokumumukum, I am the creator of the German King. I am joined by... I am Clinton Richards, I am the executive producer and head writer of the series. Thank you so much to everybody who has cross... Thank you to everybody who's cross-posted and... Let's just some technical difficulties, technical difficulties, one second. Yes. Enemies will try to make you forget who you are. Die beiden sind beste Freunde, genauso wie du und Rudolf diesem Alter waren. Guten Tag, Kaiserin. Ein perfekter schwarzer deutscher Prinz. Würde das dir gefallen? Ja, yes, sir. I serve at the pleasure of the Kaiser. Know that everything I did, I did so that our people would be free. What's the matter, Rudolf? The Kaiser is like family. Or is this brothers to go against him? Wilhelm is not your family. Your skin will always be the color of the rich Cameroonian soil. And they will always walk over it as if they own it. Your family would rule under German protection. So why did you turn against us? Your father's new ideas of independence are a cancer. I fear have infected you too. Aber mit der Hinrichtung eines Jungen startest du einen Krieg. Wir sind schon im Krieg. They are inside the palace. Kein Krieg. Lass mich sofort frei. And we're back! <laughs> <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Ari Tokumomokomek, I'm the creator of The German King. Thank you so much for joining us for our live stream today, and I'm joined by... I am Glenson Richards, I am the writer and executive producer of the series, and we're so happy to have you guys here for our second live stream. Um, we had such a great interest from this it's, for the show. It's been incredible. So yeah. we've had over 500 people express interest. 550? 550 so, 550 so yeah, far, yeah. which is amazing. So thank you to all of you who've expressed interest. Thank you you so can much. do so by going to German King, oh sorry, angel.com slash German King. King. Don't get the website wrong. Yeah, yeah, angel.com slash German King. We've said it so many <laughs> so times. It's, uh, you should have it drilled into your brain. Into right my now. brain. And it's right at the bottom of your screen. It's yes. angel.com yeah. slash German King. And click like and subscribe, as the young kids will say. You yes, know. like smash that like button. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Share it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to everybody who's also cross-posted on the various social media platforms, on your Facebook pages, yes. and your Instagram pages, and TikTok, and, exactly. and all of yes. that good stuff. And your Snapchats. And your Snapchats. <laughs> your Snapchats. Exactly. <laughs> um, and feel free to drop any comments or questions in the comments box, and we'll be sure to answer any questions that you might have at the end of this uh, program. Uh, we're also going to be joined by a very special guest. We have a very special guest. We've got royalty uh, in the ro house. A royal guest. <laughs> a royal guest. A royal guest. <laughs> We've got Prince Daniel joining us. Yes. And for those of you who don't know, Prince Daniel is the great grandson of King Rudolf Duella Manga Bell, who mm -hmm. the German King series is about. So stay tuned, yes. you're not gonna miss it. He's an amazing human being and doing incredible things. So Joseph, yeah, tune, tune, tune in. Tune in, Joseph, yeah. yay! All Washington, right. from Oregon, woohoo! All right, Sam, <laughs> That's thank awesome. you so much. Thank yes. you, Sam, thanks but for joining yes. us. 
Prince Daniel. Prince from, Daniel from Cameroon. From Cameroon. Yes. Douala, Manga, Bell, yeah, exactly. Tribe. I, yeah. I feel like we should like roll out a red carpet. A red carpet. Or it's going to be, be throwing, a virtual red carpet, yeah, right? Yeah, should be throwing flowers <laughs> on the roses on the ground, rose petals. Amazing. Amazing. Yes. But uh, I'm really excited for this. Uh, Washington from Johnson City. Welcome, Book Lover 120. Thank you for joining us from Johnson City. So we had, yeah, over 500 people express interest. We'll love to get another 20 people to yeah. express interest um, over the course of this live stream. And once yeah. again, you can express interest by going to angel.com forward slash German King. And it's right at the bottom of your screen. Yes. And if you've already expressed interest, feel free to share it with family members, friends, enemies, uh, <laughs> whomever you want to share it with. <laughs> anybody. Anybody but, you think would yes, love this show. It's exactly, going to be incredible. Yes. But if we, if we reach a certain uh, threshold of, of people expressing interest, then we can actually make this show into an actual series. Yes. And, and show this amazing uh, work of art, this ama amazing story, um, and to tell it to all the masses. And I think it'll be an amazing, amazing story. I think it's uh, really going to be just so interesting. It, it, like we've talked about like other shows to kind of compare it to. We've talked about shows like The Crown. The Crown, yes, we've very much. And Black Panther. Black Panther, yeah. Yes. We've talked about a little bit of Game of Thrones, mm -hmm. minus like the new The Yeah, yeah. It won't be it's that a PG-13 show, guys. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. It won't yeah. be that uh, racy. <laughs> Uh, and we, we also talked about shows like it, The like Expanse. Expanse. Yes, yes, yes exactly. very much so. uh, Which, which Benton Richards was a writer on The yes, Expanse, which is one I, of my very favorite shows yes. of all time. Awesome. So, followed by the German King series. So, <laughs> exactly, if you go exactly. to angel.com slash German King um, and express your interest, we can make the show happen. So. Awesome. Um, are we ready to bring on our special? Well, yeah, so, yes. we, so a few weeks ago, we got to screen The German King in Cannes. Yes. And it was an amazing experience. And we had our guest, Prince Rudolf Duala, Prince uh, Daniel Duala Mangabel, join us. And what was amazing about it was he got to see, well, firsthand, how people were responding to the, the, the short film that we screened. And it was just amazing for them to also have real royalty in the house yeah, yeah. And, um, and get to have a conversation with him and learn, and learn more about King Rudolf Duala Mangabel. Exactly. Were there like lots of like curtsying going on? There was a lot of curtsying, a lot of, yeah, a lot yeah. of people really know how to how to react <laughs> but you know one thing you learn about prince daniel is he's such a humble amazing gracious human being yeah. and he put a lot of people at ease including myself because uh you know i have never really met royalty uh -huh. either so uh -huh. it was wonderful to see him and just um yeah just meet an all-around great human being that's so, amazing yes. yeah yeah so uh so yeah we want to um let's welcome prince daniel to the show without further ado, without further ado. hi prince there daniel Hello, hello, Ali and Glutton. Hello, everybody. Hello. How yeah. are you? I'm fantastic. Doing How well. are you? Doing well. Yeah, 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 doing well. It's so nice to officially meet you. Um, I didn't get a, get a chance to meet you in person. Uh, I hear you guys had a very fun um, European vacation. Or, it was a vacation. Not a vacation, <laughs> a, a, work, a work trip. A, a, but, a, a uh, working but, vacation. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you, yeah, exactly. You, so you guys were in France, you were in Germany. Yes, uh, did we did you, a whole year the first question, did you guys try any delicacies while you were there? Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> Prince Daniel sort of forced, he was like, when in France, you must do like the French. And yes. so he yeah. had me try some delicacies. Uh, I had escargot for the first time. Wow, <laughs> he actually right. taught me how to eat the escargot. There's a, a, a method to it, right? You yeah, have to like yeah, take yeah. the the fork and then dip it and you know take uh -huh. the snail out of the shell and then eat it and it was a whole thing yeah uh, but it, it was really good surprisingly okay yeah wow. okay. <laughs> so thank so you for some, that some escargot some escargot Oscar here we go yeah. 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 that's really good <laughs> <laughs> Amazing, amazing. Uh, nice. Uh, yeah, so, uh, <laughs> that face. I got yeah. frog legs too. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, I have frog legs. <laughs> so, um, let's see how this tastes. Okay. What does it taste like, Adi? It, it tastes like chicken. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually really good too. Okay. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> it's good. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So okay. thank you, Prince Daniel, for yeah. teaching me how to eat these these amazing delicacies. Yeah. Okay. You You're guys welcome. are more, more cultured than me. I uh <laughs> I have not had escargot or frog leg, so yeah. next next well, time, next time, next time, yeah, next time we go to France, yeah, we'll have to try that. 
So, yeah, Prince Daniel, it was incredible to have you in person at the uh, different screenings that we had in Cannes. And what was your experience? I'd be curious to know. So Cannes was amazing. Uh, number one, thank you, Ade, for allowing me to come with you uh, to have a true film experience or movie experience that few people can have. Um, uh, just everything was amazing. Come landing, arriving in Cannes, and then literally being in the festival and uh, walking around with thousands of people who are in the film industry. Uh, specifically, we, we were allowed, we were able to show the German King in two different locations and two different kind of areas, um, and one specifically in the American Pavilion, uh, and yeah. the other one was Diversity in Cannes, and then, uh, so just incredible, uh, you know, like, and then obviously this is a movie about my great grandfather, so there's, it's very personal, um, but just to be there, you know, uh, with this energy, you know, where all these uh, super hyper talented people, uh, you know, working on their art, you know, and then uh, also seeing a few uh, big stars walking around, uh, you know, with their entourage, that was interesting. Uh, right. But just to, you know, be with, thank you, you know, they just to be there with you and then actually be part of the process of making a movie or series uh, and just, you know, the, the meetings, the multiple meetings we've had with different people from the film industry and uh, just, and then just thinking, you know, about the TV series and obviously presenting the German King to the, the, you know, the people in Cannes and it seems to have done very well. People were just so excited, you know, to, to, you know, it's an excellent short film. Uh, you could just feel the excitement in the people uh, and then kind of look at their eyes and listen to them. And they're just like, I want more. I want to know more about uh, uh, Rudolf Dwaramanga Bell. Uh, and uh, just amazing, you know, like uh, every single moment, barely slept, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, one thing uh, you, some people might know or not know, when you're making a movie, you do not sleep. You're just, it, it totally consumes you. You're working 24 hours a day. Uh, and that's kind of the, you know, the life of an artist as, you know, at England might know you're just, you're so engrossed. And when you're doing something you love, it's even, you're even more engrossed, you know, and you, you never get tired, you know, uh, you, and then uh, thank you again, Ade and, and, and Chris Freeman too. I was allowed to actually do work and be, yes. uh, you know, yeah. and actually not just kind of shadow at it, but actually work in helping make this movie. Um, and that was a, a unique lifetime experience, you know, just to be able to mm -hmm. on the phone, uh, communicate with people, set up meetings, um, yeah. talk you know, to industry people when we were, you know, we were talking to people and they were asking questions and I was giving them information about the story of Rudolph and, you know, kind of like be in the moment and, you know, you're, you're making a TV series or you're making a film and being super involved, you know, and that was a highly unique experience, you know, and, uh, and obviously it's a personal story and it was just amazing. Uh, yeah. Just a shout out to an anonymous person who uh, just expressed interest in the amount of $500. So thank you very, very much. That's amazing. I uh, really thank appreciate you. you. Yes. And once again, if you'd like to express interest, just go to angel.com slash German King. Yeah. And thank you very much, Prince Daniel. In fact, one of the things that we have done is uh, we've invited Prince Daniel to come on board as a consultant yeah. for the German King series because mm -hmm. we would love to portray his great grandfather's story, King Rudolf Duala Mangabel, <laughs> with accuracy and with dignity. Yeah. So we just want to say thank you again for your support and your family's support. Mm -hmm. And we're very excited to have you on board. For sure. And uh, for, for those people, go, go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, no, that, you're welcome. And like you've known and you over the last few years and most or more so in the last few months, you've met some of my family members. You've seen how excited we are. Uh, you know, like I've said, people, you know, kind of the Hollywood studio uh, is a megaphone of culture, right? You know, we spread information and culture throughout the world, right? Uh, and this is one great way where we're just so happy that, you know, Rudolph's story is being told. It's an extremely important story. Uh, obviously, and starting from you know Cameroon, but to, to Africa, to the world, uh, we, we, we thank you, thank you.
if you want. Yeah, you want. no, absolutely. And yeah, for the, for those people that are tuning in and, and may not know, the German King uh, is the the TV series that we're creating is based off of the short film that you guys created, um, and it won a number of awards at various film festivals. Uh, it was recently screened at Cannes. Um, at the Cannes Film Festival, and um, it's just really done, done uh, really well, and and got the interest of Angel Studios, uh, yes. who wanted to make this into a TV series. And so, uh, so yeah. So if you once again, um, if you can, uh, uh, click the um, angel.com. Go to or go to angel.com. Angel com slash German slash King. German King. <laughs> yes. We're we're both getting our tongue side today. Um, and express interest, and and uh, and yeah, share it with uh, family and friends, and and. Um, hopefully we can make this into into actual into TV actual series. TV series. Yeah. So, thank you very so, very much. And so one of the things right off the can, where did we go? We went to Berlin, right, uh, Prince Daniel. And, and yeah. so, what was that experience for you? Sort of going and walking in the footsteps of your great grandfather, King Rudolf Dweller Mangabell, and seeing the places that he lived and and the experiences that 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 he went through. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was amazing. Uh, it was like, a, it, it's hard to describe because you're in, I'm so much in the moment and I, I do that a lot. And then, uh, so as an example, we, what's the castle the, that we went to in, in Berlin where uh, Wilhelm lived and uh, spent some time there and um, just, I can't explain it. You're just in there and this, right there, exactly. And then uh, that's... Yeah. And and we walked around there. We'll, uh, King Rudolph spent some time there, um, and just kind of like you're. I'm just walking around, and I'm like, what was he doing? You know, where, what was you know, what was he thinking? You know, imagine a young man from, you know, Cameroon in the what late 19th century. You know, a black man. You know, walking around, <laughs> yeah. you know, like, and, yeah. and not just uh, any parts of. Germany or Berlin or in the royal castle, you know, or, and, and just, I'm imagining, and one of the things I've tried to do is just imagine trying to put myself in his, his, his being, you know, and just being around there and um, you're not at home, you know, you're not in Cameroon and um, all that's happening and uh, just incredible. And then we were able to spend a lot of time walking around Berlin and to places he visited um, so you're just, you can see, kind of see it in my mind, you're just in, in awe, you know, you're just like, uh, you're just in constant awe, you know, and this castle is actually interesting. It's, uh, it looks a lot like Versailles in, uh, in Paris, mm -hmm. France. Um, yeah. so you just, that was it. And I had a lot of, not a lot, whatever, like 30 minutes of being by myself and walking around and then getting a sense and getting a feel like, you know, like. What was it like? You know, he's he was walking around here. What was he doing? What was he yeah. thinking? And all, even yeah, well, in the winter, you know, he never experienced a European winter. Because, oh my because God. From Can Dallas, you imagine? <laughs> I, I mean, my first winter in New York, yes. I was like, this this does not feel real. How can human beings live like this? Oh I was God. frozen yeah. to my core. I yeah, couldn't believe it. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's hilarious that you said it because I'm, I'm from Texas. And so I actually went to uh, to visit New York when I was uh, after college, I was thinking about moving either to New York or, or Los Angeles. I get off the, the plane, I step outside. I was like, it is way too cold here. It's like <laughs> people cannot live in these conditions. And so, yeah, yeah so imagine yeah. Rudolph coming right. from you know, Cameroon to Germany and, and I could not imagine <laughs> trying this to live like out there. This is like the 1880s, you know, it's not like 20 years yeah. ago, like uh, yeah. number yeah. one and also just imagining his journey. How did he get to mm -hmm. Germany? Like getting on a boat from Douala, you know, going around like Senegal and going to, you know, like that whole to Hamburg, right? I'm assuming that's where he went from uh, Douala around like Senegal up uh, through Portugal and oh, and yeah. you know France and then getting to Hamburg. I assume that would that would have been the port of entry at that point, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. just a uh, just incredible. It's hard to describe. It's, it's one of these like yeah. moments you have to be there and, and kind of imagine, you know, and then really kind of slow down and try to understand, you know, like what, yeah. how he was feeling, how he was thinking. And then, uh, and he was a monarch, you know, and, and there's kind of extra mm -hmm. pressure on him and all that stuff. So it was incredible. Yeah. We were actually just talking uh, just a few days ago about 
like that contrast of him uh, leaving West Africa or leaving Cameroon mm -hmm. and, you know, getting on that boat and then arriving in Germany. Um, you know, he arrives you know, on the train after, you know, after a long boat ride and he's literally the only black person there and he probably just like, like an alien a little bit and it's just yeah. like like what could he be, um, imagine like what is he feeling you know all those things especially yeah. as a young young person yeah. not not you know yeah. not like an adult so uh so yeah that's going to be really interesting to kind of see and to, to visualize uh on the show so we're yeah really excited we're to excited to here. tell that story yeah and yeah. so after we left berlin we went to hamburg because we there is this huge exhibit and i encourage everybody to go and see it it's called the hey hamburg yeah. do you know du rudolf duella mangabel and it goes in depth into who he is and his history uh from when he left um cameroon and came to to germany and mm -hmm. it was incredible uh, Prince Anna, would you like to talk about that experience a little bit? Yeah, that was uh, incredible. Like, it's the best exhibition that I've seen of Rudolf Wallach Magabel in my life. I think I've seen a few over the years, but uh, so specifically the, the the museum. There was a lot of like highly educated people who uh, you know did a lot of research on Rudolf and. Uh, not just Rudolf or Mangabe, but also like the area as well. And it was just the, the detail of information they were able to get, the pictures they were able to get. Um, mm -hmm. And then they're also, the other thing was their passion, you know, for uh, their curiosity towards Rudolf and his impact, you know, not just specifically in the region, uh, but his impact in Africa, his impact on the world. And you could see like, uh, so it's incredible to meet all these intellectuals you know but let's say like just uh who were amazed to meet uh my my cousin Princess Marini Guarabel, Tuara Mangabel and myself like you know they're and then obviously I'm they could have been happy like they're having an exhibition about Rudolf Tuara Mangabel and then here we are like the descendants of uh of him and and we're going mm -hmm. through the exhibition uh, with different people and they're talking about different things and uh, it was just an incredible moment, you know, and then also like during the time I, I just continued going through the exhibition and reading the things. And uh, it was just, a again, similarly, like a surreal moment. Uh, this is a picture of uh, Rudolph and me and just I do have another one uh, where I'm in Cameroon, too, where but it's just a, a moment, you know, where I'm just like uh, and yeah, this is. I think this is an incredible picture too. It's just a, a, a small moment, just kind of a, just you know. I don't want to explain it. You're just feeling and trying to understand and uh, just be there, you know. And obviously, he's my great grandfather. I know about him all my life, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but there's nothing like having something like that presented of him, um, and uh, and being able to talk to a lot of these intellectuals you know who were like we love what we're doing we love to talk about rudolf we love uh we want like kind of like you know ade and us we want to tell the world about rudolf when i'm on a bell uh and mm -hmm. uh so it's just incredible you know and yeah. met some and what's henrik henrik langs henrik langs uh, yes he's an incredible to artist uh, and he had a incredible uh kind of multimedia uh video i don't know how to explain it like uh, uh yeah how do you explain it are they like uh it was a multimedia uh, multimedia video and it was yeah it was part of the art installation uh -huh. and he also gave a talk which was just so fascinating and everybody got to learn a lot more was there anything that you learned from the exhibition that you hadn't learned before about rudolph Dwell? um uh, i i didn't learn a lot there i uh i think i learned more a little later when i was in france um and i just you've asked me that before but i don't remember anything new that i can remember learning uh well actually no it was the pictures that were amazing there was like this huge book and then it just had like massive photos and then I had a picture of uh rudolph when he was younger uh he had a picture of uh emma my great-grandmother uh, you know in gome uh and man, she was beautiful she was just a incredibly beautiful woman you know and then her her and also just uh, the strength and of so character. Real. Yeah, yes. and then like, mm. and the strength of character you can kind of see in the photos and then uh, 
picture, you know, trying to imagine what Douala Cameroon was in the late 19th century, early part of the 20th century. Um, um, just, you know, that was it. Yeah. 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 Um, and yeah. And I want to actually want to take this time just to say thank you so much for, for coming on and agreeing to be a consultant for this project. Um, it's yeah. So it's so nice to have, uh, you know, someone that has experienced that fine family history that can, you know, give us, you know, some of the details that might uh, known in some of, you know, the history books and stuff like that. So it's uh, it's really um, a joy to have part of this. If you are you're welcome. This is like, you know, it's a it's a work of passion. Uh, it's, uh, you know, obviously it's family. So it's obviously highly personal and kind of really yeah. talk with that day. It's just a it's a story that needs to be told. Uh, uh, not just you know from him specifically, but other African greats, other greats oh. from all over the world. You know that sometimes we live in the United States, we uh, our the history doesn't teach us much, or kind of like I they was saying earlier. Like I grew up, I didn't in Sierra Leone, I didn't know, or you know throughout in Africa, I didn't know about him. You know things like that. Um, so it, you know I'm so excited, I'm so happy to be doing this, and uh, and it's gonna be great. It's already great, and it's going to be even greater. Yeah, and real quick, uh, we just had a couple people express Lin interest. S yeah. express interest. Yeah. Thank you very, very that, much. Yeah. And before that, we had it. We had another anonymous uh, for one hundred and fifty dollars. Thank for, you yeah. very, very much. So thank you, everyone. We're a few steps yes. closer to um, yeah to, bring, reaching, to reaching our our goal. First yeah. of all, an yeah. additional 20, 20 people who are going to express interest in the German King series. Yeah, and exactly. Yeah. Once exactly. again, you can go to angel.com slash German King <laughs> <laughs> and click that express interest button. And uh, yes, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. <laughs> exactly, yes. If you have any questions, we'll have Prince Daniel with us for a little longer and yeah. he'll be able to ask him some questions yeah. at the end of the live stream. We'll have a little Q&A. Oh, and we'll so, yeah, 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 you can yeah. ask a, an actual prince an actual prince some questions. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that would be awesome. Um, so I wanted to ask you, why do you think it is important to tell your great grandfather's story um, in, you know, as a TV series? Uh, I think it's extremely important. Um, just uh, kind of we uh, countries in Africa, Asia, or South America, especially when you live in the United States, uh, you don't hear a lot about like you know, not just monarchs or monarchies or you know emperors or empires or whatever. So I just it's, yeah. I think it's important that the world knows like what he did, you know, his act, you know, and his actions and his. Uh, wow, yeah. sorry, uh, just not to cut so, you off, Prince Daniel, but I'm an anonymous yeah, so person yeah. just. Interest in the amount of four thousand. Thank you so much. We really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think our mouth both <laughs> dropped. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you very, very much. Yeah. This means a lot. Thank you. And once yeah. again, if you'd like to express interest in the German King, go to yeah. angel.com/slash German King. Thank, thank you very you, much, yes, yeah. Thank you. Good Sorry, Prince Daniel. Yeah. Please go on. And that's it. They're just uh, his uh, impact on obviously. The Dwala people, the Sawa people, his impact on Cameroon, his impact in, uh, in you know, post-colonial Africa in some ways, you know, in terms of, mm -hmm. uh, you know, fighting for independence, becoming independent, uh, you know, like kind of his, 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 you know, like the Germans were there as a colonial power, you know, and then, you know, and, and just fighting for respect. You know, and that's a, you know, kind of a, as an African, a, you know, you, we, we're still kind of fighting that. So, um, but he's just an individual great uh, human being, you know, uh, who who's a martyr, you know, who uh, gave up his life for his people, yeah. you know, and that's and that like that's real, you know, like that's, you know, and, you know, we, we, we we're lacking heroes a little bit, you know, uh, right now. So kind of a, you know. Or like mm -hmm. I think that was said earlier, a superhero kind of an individual makes a decision thinking about his people, you know, and trying to, oh. uh, you know, save not just he was also very intellectual and very ahead of his time, you know. Um, mm -hmm. I think that was part of the training and the living he had in Europe. So he was more kind of, I think, independent Africa, you know, like uh, an Africa that's, you know, on part of the world. At, at level with the world powers, you know, kind of things like that. So, yeah. 
Totally. One of the things that you did when we were at the Mark Museum, you met with the descendants of the Osto family, who are yeah. the first people that Rudolf de Wallamanga Bell stayed with when he went to Germany. Could yeah. you talk to us about that experience and that reunion and, and what that meant to you? Uh, it was incredible. I think uh, I, had, I didn't know him. He's a little older than I am. Uh, so it was a little, one thing I wish, I don't speak German and he doesn't speak English or French, uh, but it was kind of like a little awkward at the beginning. Like, you know, you know about someone and then you meet them and then, uh, uh, and I just wish, uh, and then we went out to dinner afterwards with my cousin, Princess Marilyn right here. And here he is talking about, uh, specifically, that's a picture taken uh, at his grandfather's or grandfather's house. And you, it's hard to, we're not seeing the picture. But Rudolph is there, and and then uh, you know, just amazing. Like imagine again, 19th century Germany and Holland. You know, a small town, and here yeah. is this young black, you know, king or you know prince. You know, uh, prince, coming yes, in, and, yeah. and we were just like number one. Uh, you know, like just there's a lot of things going on in my mind. Like they accepted him, you know, and they they helped mm. raise him. You know, and then kind of like uh, I, I didn't sense any s racism or anything like that. They just, you know, and even when the, when you look at the pictures, they they was just part of the family. You know, um, so it was it, it was it was wonderful to meet him. He was a very uh, quiet, shy person. You know, the the thing that I wish I'd done was more was able mm -hmm. to talk to him a little bit more. But you just kind of have that look, and when you look at. You look at each other's eyes. There's a kind of understanding, uh, and that's sure. a way of communication as well, you know. But uh, it was just, uh, just amazing. Like, and I wish we had day, you know, I wish we'd had time to go to Holland, you know, and actually go to possibly see where uh, Rudolph kind of spent his time. But we're so busy. Like, um, it was just uh, incredible. And then we were obviously, <laughs> uh, yeah. what do you say? I said, we were we were working. We were working. It was a very yeah, yeah. Trip. We were working. Yeah, we're, next time, so it was a it was, the series yeah, yeah. happened. We will do yes. that, right. Yeah. So it was uh, just, just a, reminder: uh, if you'd like to express interest, you can go to angel.com/slash/germanking. And big thank you to everybody who's expressed interest. Yeah, so we had far. An, we had another person of uh, express interest uh, uh, in a hundred fifty dollars. Yes. yes, sorry. Um, and. Uh, yeah, it's it's so interesting, and and next time we go to G Germany, I definitely want to go with you guys. I'm gonna have to work on my German. Uh, Me too. And, uh, <laughs> I was not very yeah, good yeah, at speaking exactly, German on this. Exactly. Trip. I, I feel like we're all a little bit rusty on our German. <laughs> yes, uh, yeah. yeah, but you you yeah. speak French, correct? Is that? I speak or French. Am I making that up? Yeah, I speak French. Okay. I cool. don't. Yeah, I don't speak any so, German, and uh, yeah, but it's. Uh, okay. Yeah, but uh, well, when we I mean, were in Europe, most people, a lot of people spoke English, right? When we were in Germany. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, a lot of people. Spoke yeah. English. Yeah. So. Yeah. So, I mean, you can cut yourself some slack. You speak French and Spanish fluently. Yeah, exactly. And English. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. Yes, exactly. He was our saving yeah. grace in France. I was like, oh, I don't really speak <laughs> French. Help me. <laughs> baguette, baguette, baguette. That's all you need to know. Baguette, baguette. baguette. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so after we left Germany, and it was an incredible trip, we went back to France and we went specifically to Paris to meet yeah. the oldest surviving relative of King Rudolf Dual and Manga Bell, mm -hmm. uh, a, a lady named her, what, that you affectionately call Tante Sarah. And Tante so Sarah, can you tell us yeah. about that? Tante Sarah, Tante Sarah. Uh, and then, yeah, so this is a picture of Tante Sarah sitting and then her sons right there. And then I then I and this is in her place in Paris, uh, and then just a uh, man like a emotional moment. Uh, I, I I actually only met her like about six years before, and I think I might have met her when I was much like a baby, but I, I obviously don't remember. She's ninety five years old. Uh, yeah, you know, and, uh, and her mind her mind is like super sharp you know yeah like physically you would never think she's 95 a uh, number two mm. and her her memory you know and like uh um but more like it was just uh you have moments in life where you're just like you're actually in the moment and this is very mm. special and 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 thank you ade he uh he asked me to interview her so i was interviewing her um mm. and then just amazing like 
being her presence and then and listening right you know like yes. listening to her stories and then you know like kind of we have to listen to our elders you know remember that but just more like listening to her and and you know there's you there, there's her moments right and talk about the royal court right and then being around yeah. there and then you know her experiences i don't think she was around when i don't think she was born when rudolph was around because uh but she talked about her experiences when uh, at that moment and then also the, the 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 knowledge of history right that that she was able to to talk about and then also the passion still at her age and being when we're doing the interview and she's just like you know this yeah. and just kind of so it was a very yeah. incredible moment you know um and then um and then you know just and just everything about it like us getting in and then talking and explaining to her what Ade and Keith and John and I are doing there, our purpose, what is our purpose mm -hmm. in terms of, you know, uh, this amazing story uh, and her, you know, allowing her to come into her place, number one, you know, and then allowing us to interviewing her, to interview her and then uh, just, a, a, just a, a beautiful moment, you know. Uh, this was amazing. Like, uh, I didn't know Ade had uh, <laughs> video to me, but I was like, uh, so Ade again allowed me to interview her and I did another interview and thank you Ade for that. That was an incredible experience. Um, but just listen. It was incredible to watch you with this lady and, and yeah. capture that on camera. It was absolutely magical. And once again, you're talking about respect for elders. You just realize how really it is important. We absolutely. got just the first hand information from this lady who was just was so passionate and just, just so you know, um, she just talked to us and told us so many things that I had never yeah. even knew uh, known about Rudolph Duala Magabel, yeah. or, you know, things that you'll never find in the history books, things you'll never find right. printed about her story, she was able oh, to tell yeah. us. And what's really exciting about that is we're going to actually um, have the entire uh, version of her of her of interview, interview okay. and that's going to be online uh, pretty shortly. So very cool. Yeah, yeah. that's exciting. That's cool. Yeah. And, and, yeah. And, and for audiences to know, it's like we're, we're not, you know, gonna make this into like a documentary it's not gonna be like it's not gonna be like word for word that everything happened we're gonna you know obviously take some dramatic license and and you know that kind of stuff but we wanted to have you know people like uh, prince daniel yes. to give us you know the some of the first-hand knowledge some of the knowledge from the family so that way we can tell an accurate story um, or at least a very close to accurate story of, of you know, Prince uh, Rudolph Mangabel. So, um, so yeah, it's it's really exciting to to have you. Really exciting to have um, gone on this trip, or yes. for have you guys to have gone on this trip. And um, yeah, I learned so and, much. Uh, it was incredible. Uh, and uh, part of like, as you're saying, Glinton, part of like, even like in Khan, uh, there was a moment when uh, after the German king was shown, and then they allowed the directors of the movies. Uh, I think Ade was a little upset because the, uh, what's her name, kind of introduced me. Uh, do you remember that moment where she had oh. this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And he wanted to do it, but more like uh, I turned around and looked at people's eyes and their reaction, right? Number one, kind of, there is, you know, like my cousin is the king right now, Jean even in Cameroon, you know, there are monarchs, monarchies, or there are, you know, like, uh, uh, you know, still around, you know, uh, um, and uh just the, and just get the, 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 their eyes their eyeballs were like wow this is you know yes. like i like I, they said like uh you know uh the, you know the movies that i've shown like you know or i've been kind of the black panther but just, that's marvel right it's not real <laughs> you know like or coming to america right. this is real life like, yeah <laughs> you know like that's and that's it's a fiction right this is real life human being you know yeah. like uh yeah. so it's just amazing really. And on that note, we'd love to show you some of the audience reactions that we had. Yes, but, but, but first, I wanted to say thank you uh, to Amy T for expressing interest for a thousand dollars. Thousand dollars, Amy yes. T. Thank you so much. Yes. You're amazing. And then we had another person right afterwards express interest for one hundred and fifty dollars. So thank you so thank much. Thank you all very, yes. very much. Uh, it's, it's, all this is really helpful to getting this series actually made. And so, um, yes, uh, continue to express interest, share with family and friends. Like, comment, subscribe, <laughs> <Exactly>. share. <Yes. laughs> and go to angel.com slash German King to express interest. Exactly. And it's right there at the bottom of your screen. Yes. So we're going to actually go back to, um, to Cannes and actually show you some of the audience reactions that we had 
from people who saw the the screening of the short film, The German King. And it was really exciting for me to actually hear what they had to say and also for Prince Daniel and just see the impact that this show, uh, Should It Go To Series, will have on the world. Absolutely. So um, take a look, don't go anywhere. Oh, I thought it was phenomenal. I've heard about this movie for a little bit. I'd yet to see it. I mean, just to see it here in Cannes, it was beautiful. It's stunning. Um, I thought it, it was so concise and it was such a tight short film. The timing was perfect, the editing, the structure, the acting was beautiful, it was beautiful performances. Of course the DP, um, I thought they did an amazing job, it was just lit and shot beautifully and I, I thought it, it just, um, it had like that perfect short film, it was a mini movie, but it had the perfect short film kind of um, experience for me. It was beautiful acting, it had a story that had such depth and meaning and it wasn't one that people really know about. It made me want to go look it up. Like, I want to go learn more about these people and about the main character. I thought the lead role of the main, um, the main performance was just beautiful. Just um, the stillness of the shots. I thought the directing was just um, classic old style film directing. I, I kind of got chills when at the end I didn't know that it was going to be a TV series. I was like, oh, brilliant. And I think, you know, people are, are just telling great stories. I thought the filmmaker did an incredible job. Incredible. I loved, I loved it. I'm so happy I was here to see it in town. It was very, very well done. All the historical details, the costumes and uh, the emotions. I cried when I saw it. I mean, and um, I also think that it's very important to um, shoot and uh, bring stories that talk about real stories that can inspire the world. And uh, that's what I think the cinema, the, sh the filmmaker should do. I mean, bring and put the focus on a story that can change the world and can be inspiring for people. Oh my god, the German king was incredibly powerful. Um, the story, I was just blown away by the story. First of all, it's um, a story I didn't know about, and I think that's one of the powerful things about filmmaking and, and, and telling stories. We learn about these uh, incredible uh, people, real life people. Um, I love uh, how powerful the performances were, how powerful the storytelling were, were was. And um, just in general, it was, it was incredibly touching and um, inspirational. Hi, my name is Monica Skirbelis. I'm the director of the American Pavilion's Emerging Filmmaker Showcase. And I'm so excited to have the German King screen here today. After two years, it was uh, part of the 2020 Emerging Filmmaker Showcase. And uh, Aid was ready and willing and ready to get on that plane in 2020. but. Uh, we had this little uh, pandemic happen, and uh, so I'm excited to be able to bring him back today. Uh, we had a virtual screening of The German King uh, in uh, 2020, and um, which was great, and, and um, uh, we had an opportunity to do a Q&A uh, with Aid, and um, uh, having just, just, it's such a timely story and it has so much to say and seeing it become a TV series is like it's so exciting to be able to uh, you know, see that come to fruition and I'm, I'm sure that with all of all of the work that's put involved with it over the years uh, that it's exciting. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Oh, awesome. Oh, so it was so cool hearing so many people uh, just say extol their praises for the short film it was yeah. it was well also the other thing what people don't know is we've had a people know this we've had a pandemic for a couple of years so we were unable to go and actually be physically present with people when we had these screenings a lot of these screenings were virtual so we didn't have the audience interaction we didn't know what this short film actually meant to people yeah. so to be able to be in can and just talk to people and hear what it meant and also having prince daniel there and and his presence and, and hearing it made it real, just, you know, we had this short film about his great grandfather, and then he actually had the living embodiment of, of this man. It was, for me, it was so touching, Prince Daniel, and it just, it made what we're doing just so much more important, if that mm -hmm. makes sense. 
and and I'm so excited. I'm so honored to to just have you on board and also talk about the amazing ways that you and your family are continuing this extraordinary man's legacy. Mm-hmm. And, and I don't know if that's something you can talk or, talk about briefly, yeah. Prince Daniel. Uh, so I mean, like, uh, kind of like going back to my what my princess. There is his spirit is in us, you know. Like, uh, yes. and. You know, uh, I'm not a deeply spiritual person, but I can, you know, even as I'm talking right now, I can kind of almost feel him, right? You know, and it's just something outside of myself, something you don't have a choice. You have to do, you know, um, and uh, so it, it's just, it's legacy. Like, you know, like you, uh, we're, we're blessed that he gave us what he get, he's given us. And it's just one of these things mm-hmm. we just continue. And it might be after my lifetime you know uh but it's just it's you, you, you don't i don't expect you don't have a choice you just go and you do whatever it takes to talk about rudolph and to tell the world about rudolph and obviously you know uh ade is uh it's, it, his vision and uh, is incredible and 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 helping do this so we're our family so happy that you, you're doing this that day and we're just so excited you know yeah. Oh, thank you very, very much, yeah. Prince Daniel. And once again, if you guys have any questions for His Royal Highness, Prince Daniel, yes. uh, please put them in the comment section and we will read out the questions at the end of the live stream. And oh. actually, we have we have a question for you. Yeah. Is there an appropriate form of address like Your Royal Highness or Your Majesty? Prince Daniel, I, I will have... Well, I'll leave that to I'm, I'm, I'm really, also, I'm really yeah. humble. I'm like, I'm not like, I think uh, I've grown up, obviously, from a um, uh, you know, royal family, but uh, I am a prince, you know, and and stuff like that. But I, you know, I I don't introduce myself. I live in the United States, you know. I, I don't go around saying I'm Prince Daniel wherever I go. Uh, it's oh, in we'll, me. We'll say it. We'll, we'll say yeah, 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 yeah. We'll say. Uh, you know, uh, uh, the eyes. It's, 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 <laughs> yeah, this is so, your royal <laughs> Just, you know, call me Daniel, uh, Prince Daniel, whatever you feel comfortable. I'm completely okay with that. Awesome. That's very cool. Uh, another question. Another question from a viewer. What moral genre will this show have constant? Bravery, romance, sacrifice, or the whole shebang? Very, very good question. It's it's all of those, I would say. Yeah. It's about bravery. It's about doing things in the face of adversity, doing things when it actually matters, yeah. and actually standing up and, and mm-hmm. being counted for. One of the things that um, you know Ma- uh, Martin Luther King Jr. says best, uh, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Mm-hmm. And you have this man saying, yes, I mean, there's injustice in Cameroon, but who's to say that this is not going to continue around Africa, around the globe? And yeah. let's nip it in the bud now, so this doesn't be something that's going to happen yeah. 50 years from now, 100 years from now. And look what's happening today. There's injustice constantly. And so we always have to keep striving against injustice, striving against um, evil. And also when things go, when when we see something, we should really, really say something. Yeah. And so it's, it's taught me is actually to stand up and say, when I see something that that may not be right or i may not agree with Mm -hmm. i speak up and also i I try to be the voice for the voiceless and i think that's what it's taught me and of course there's gonna be some romance because rudolph Yola manga bell was was a bit of it was a yeah well maybe not but but, but, but we'll see (laughs) 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 we'll see i mean to answer last go ahead Oh, well, specifically for romance, like Rudolph was not a playboy. You know, he was an anti-playboy. He actually, uh, yeah. he fell in love with his, his wife, Emma Ingomendias, and like, he was yes. totally in love. It was like a real movie story um, type was- of love. And, and, you know, his father was a polygamist, but Rudolph decided uh, to just marry the woman he loved and have a family with them. Yeah, you know? no, that's, that's actually so funny that you say that. I, I, was, I was joking, but we actually were talking the other day about you know the Rudolph, the contrast between Rudolph and his, and father. his father. Yes, yeah, yeah his father was yeah polygamist and uh, was yeah. Uh, you know loved the ladies and uh, yeah. but uh, but yeah but, but Rudolph yeah fell in love and you know and married and yeah. one amazing woman. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And yeah. to answer the last part of that question, sacrifice. Yes, mm-hmm. what does it mean to do the right thing even when you could potentially sacrifice everything? 
yeah. and potentially even your life. And and that is something that is extraordinary about Rudolph Dweller Mangabelle's life. Mm -hmm. And in some ways, almost Christ-like, you know, he just decided to sacrifice his life yeah. so that everybody literally could live. And, yeah, and it's yeah. an amazing, amazing thing. Absolutely. And yeah. I, I, I and, think about the, the night, one thing that I learned actually is uh, mm -hmm. the night before he was, you know, uh, so uh, the German military allowed him to go say goodbye to his family, and he had one night where he just like with his wife and his children, because Alexander was in in Germany. Just imagining and talk about sacrifice, and he was aware, I am going to die tomorrow. You know, uh, yeah. I am going to die to save my family. I am going to die mm -hmm. to save my people. You know, so you kind of yeah. try to put yourself in that mindset where. You, it's not about you, right? You know, it's about yes. the great, right? You know, and then uh, yes. and imagine the, the moral strength of the individual wanting to do that, right? So it's just yes. it's incredible. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, it's like we would like to all think that we I, could be as brave as, as as him in that situation, but I'm not sure I can. Yeah, I, 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 I know, me too. Me too. It's extraordinary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I could. Yeah, yeah. But, um, I, like, I would uh, like to think I would. It, yeah, yeah, I would be like, oh, so if I go back there, I'm gonna die, I, or or that's freedom. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna choose freedom, right? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, but no yeah. kidding. But, but <laughs> that's yeah. what makes his life even more more exactly. amazing. More yeah, that's what makes him, you know, in in many ways, almost like a superhero. It's, just like, that's just, it's. Yeah. I think it's superheroic yeah. to do something like that. No exactly. ordinary human being can can that's actually right. do that. I mean, to quote to quote Superman, with great power mm -hmm. comes great responsibility. And I think yeah. that was uh, that was something Rudolph Dweller Mangabell took extremely seriously. Yeah. So Definitely. one of the other questions, Prince, for Prince Daniel, when and how did you first get to know about the short film? Did your family help provide resources when they were doing the research? Yeah, so about three years ago, my nephew in Paris sent me a message and I think uh, about the German King that I they was working on. I was like, what? You know, so, uh, and then, uh, so I contacted Ade directly through Instagram and I was like, who are you? <laughs> you know, like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> My great grandfather, yeah. I, mean, I don't know, you know? And then- uh, and, and I was then, like, is uh, this Prince Daniel? <laughs> yeah. I was like, am I, am I being punked? Is this real? Yeah. This is incredible. <laughs> And then that's how I found out about the short film. And then uh, and Ade and I met. And I think Ade and I just obviously we come from similar diplomatic backgrounds. We're Africans. Uh, we have a very similar vision about how Africans want to be seen in this world. Uh, you know, and, and that's big picture. And how do we want to be represented? Uh, and then in terms of my family helping out. So the kind of the way I've been helping out is uh i'm a, a full come a point of contact and like today even uh i was talking to ade he had some questions or yesterday and it's just ongoing when you're making something this big there's so much information right and so much information Absolutely. that might not be necessarily on the internet and in books so like you know i'm constant contact asking my family what about this moment do you remember this picture you know uh and what is what does it mean or where was this like you know, and then uh, as we've been going on, we've just been getting stuff, you know, little by little, sometimes a lot. And yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, and he'll send me pictures or yeah. text messages or letters from Rudolf Duala Mangabell. And yeah. it's just this gold mine of information that I'm like, ah, keep yeah. sending it to me because I'm also such a geek. I love history. So every time I get one of those, I'm like, this is incredible. I call Glenton at two in the morning. I'm like, you'll never believe what I have. This <laughs> man, he's like, I'm good. All right. What are you doing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Talk to me tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and so. Today, actually, uh, there's a picture of of root. It's actually I don't I don't know if you have that. If uh, we have that right now, but it's an incredible picture of uh, Rudolph and his father Manga Dunde, and then Alexander, and then the pastor who uh, helped raise Alexander. Beep. And That's just beep, uh, yes. Yeah, there's two, and it's just a. 1902 you know here, yes. here are these royal monarchs in germany and they're sitting like they belong you know, that? they belong uh, right so like they're, just, regal, they're not dignified. like comfortable and they're like we belong here you know like yes. and um just you know just it, it's just ongoing i'm also learning you know as i'm going uh, i'm not 100 mm -hmm. fully knowledgeable everything that happens in Rudolph or what's happened in my family, but I'm still learning, you know, uh, so yeah, it's been amazing. 
Another question from a viewer. What is the process for getting a film shown at Cannes? Were there characters or milestones in that process which were memorable? Yes, I mean, in fact, we'll actually do a whole other live stream about the festival experience and yeah. whatnot. But it's really it was just getting a short film done and 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 uh, yeah, and just getting submitting it, submitted, it and yeah. getting it submitted and yeah. just making sure that we had also done our research and made the most the best film that we could. Yeah. And that took getting extraordinary actors. It yeah. also got getting uh, an amazing des uh, DP. His name is Justin Janowitz. He's our director of photography. Absolutely phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Stefanica, okay, who is our production designer. Hannah Sturwald, our mm -hmm. editor. Incredible actors like Constance Ajuma and Scotty Thompson yeah. and Raphael Corkill. And mm -hmm. just really the whole the whole shebang and getting just everybody together to just create something that was um, a, a wonderful, wonderful piece of art yeah. and something that was impactful and ultimately we hope make a difference. Yeah. So, and, and on that note, we can, uh, in, in a future live stream, we can talk more in detail about the, uh, the process of, of making the short, short film. film. Yes, actually that's what we'll and, do. Uh, and yeah, yeah. And, and yeah, we're actually just about out of time right now. Yeah. So um, just want to wrap up and say thank you so much Prince. Yeah, Daniel, yeah, thank you very, very much for joining thank us. Yeah. Really wonderful. Uh, I appreciate it. And uh, we'll yeah. be out there. You know, please help us out. Uh, we're trying to make an incredible TV series that's just amazing. Thank you all for participating yeah, and pledging. We're so appreciative. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. And once again, if you'd like to express interest in the German King, just yeah. go to angel.com slash German King. Right. Yeah. Angel.com <laughs> slash German, German King. King yes. And once again, a huge, huge thank you to everybody who's expressed interest so far. Yeah. And we're one step closer to getting the German King series made. Thank yes. you all so very much. And uh, we'll see you next time. Yes. See you later. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Our enemies will try to make you forget who you are. The beiden so best friend. Genauso wie du und Rudolf in diesem Alter waren. Guten Tag, Kaiserin. Ein perfekter schwarzer deutscher Prinz. Würde das dir gefallen? Ja, Sir. I serve at the pleasure of the Kaiser. Know that everything I did, I did so that our people would be free. What's the matter, Rudolf? The Kaiser's like family. But where's this brother? It's to go against him. Wilhelm is not your family. Your skin will always be the color of the rich Kimurian soil. And they will always walk over it as if they own it. Your family would rule under German protection. So why did you turn against us? Your father's new ideas of independence are a cancer. I fear have infected you too. Aber mit der Hinrichtung eines Jungen startest du einen Krieg. Wir sind schon im Krieg. They're inside the palace. Feigling, lass mich sofort frei.